Town and Maggie, I understand the feds already responded. You've already got a gas mask on. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, Laurel, the situation just changed in the last few minutes. We actually didn't see, we couldn't tell what was happening at the fence line that uh, basically prompted, for lack of a better word, officers to deploy tear gas, but they did it really quickly in the last five minutes or so. And so we're just kind of walking back toward the federal courthouse now. The tear gas spread really quickly and we scrambled to get our gas masks on. You can see the crowds at the fence line now. Again, I know we talk a lot about, you know, things that sort of happen before those kinds of methods are deployed. We didn't see anything. Uh, we were just at this point, basically right here on the corner across the street, and suddenly we heard flashbangs and then tear gas and clouds kind of moving almost a block down. John is zooming in on the crowd. Now I gotta tell you, even with this gas mask on, that tear gas definitely stings. You can see the crowd up against the fence line now, the federal officers on the other side of it, just like they have been for the last few weeks here in Portland. You know, as you said, people basically, uh, they're aware and they're up to speed on these discussions today, back and forth between the governor and the feds to get the federal officers out of here. But you know, a lot of people basically tell us they don't believe it's going to make a difference. They feel like Portland police has been just as, uh, in their minds, brutal as far as using tear gas and making it uh, in a response to protesters and using munitions on protesters. So in their minds, and one person put it, it's trading one for the other. You can hear them chanting Black Lives Matter on the front line, people raising up their hammers, raising up their hands. It seems like the response has come down. But you can see it sounds like police are telling people to get up the fence. Uh, we do have a little bit of video from earlier while the situation remains uh, somewhat fluid, uh, but it seems like it's calm now for the moment. We had a vigil earlier at Portland City Hall with clergy leaders. We talked to uh, people on the line of the Wall of Arms who really were standing that were being protested in the feds. And then we just asked people, you know, again, you know about this deal, you know about these discussions to pull the feds out of Portland. What do you think about that? And here's some of what we heard. Do you feel like that energy has, like, people are aware of that tonight and things have people changed? People are definitely happy. We've had the doctors out. I mean, you can just look and see the, I mean, it's awesome. The feeling is euphoric. So I, everyone's definitely happy about this. But they're just, they're not leaving. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, they're not leaving. I feel like it's just putting that out to, like, a piece now it's, po it's political now, so it's just going to go on and on and on and on and on. I mean, now it's less... And that's what's sad because as a, as a black man, it's become less about black people and about all the other bull around it. And but we can't get distracted into national presidential politics when the issues on the streets here in Portland have to do with the Portland Police Bureau that brutally assaults and sometimes kills our black, brown, and indigenous citizens. Back out here in downtown Portland, you can see once again, we had tear gas deployed downtown like in the last five to 10 minutes. Uh, that has dissipated here from the air, uh, but we still have the crowd just like they were standing up against the fence at the federal courthouse downtown. No idea why anyone would drive through this scene, but there you go. Uh, basically it's chaos down here. It's just as chaotic as it's been for the last 60 plus nights. People here say none of this will calm down until the feds leave. They told us they have no plans to move away from the federal courthouse, kind of listening to what the acting secretary said. Uh, and they believe even after the feds leave, these protests will continue because again, and we are this from multiple people, that they feel like they still have to keep protesting against racism and police brutality, and that includes local and state officers. So I'm gonna step back in here. Obviously we have a crew on the ground. We'll keep monitoring the situation downtown, post updates on social media and online. But for now, I'll send it back to you.